Welcome back, YouTube. Dylan Carr bringing you Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I played the first Five Nights and the second Five Nights, and I kind of suck at it. So, let me give it a try. So, apparently, it's supposed to be scary this time. Before, it was like a kid thing, but now it's supposed to be scary, so. Let's find out. 12 a.m. First night. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. I love his voice. Some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out of the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. Watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and Spooky props. Spooky. Uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, Boo. <laughs> no. Uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings said it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cam. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. The fire. The most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go offline, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I totally suck at this game. I really do. I just heard him say something about closing the vents, so I'm going to try to keep the vents extra closed. But on Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2, the first night's pretty easy. I'm not fully sure what I have to do, but yeah, I'm probably not going like, to not make it past night 2, probably, to be honest. Okay, so... Okay, so... All the things I have to do are make sure these things are working. Probably... Oh, and seal the vents. Yeah, okay. So, obviously I gotta check the map. Or check all the cameras. And then I gotta do this. Check the vents. And yeah, that should be it. At least as far as right now. Oh, crap. That's no good. <laughs> That's a horrible button. Okay, I made it past the first night. Awesome. Yay! I did it. Just four more nights to go. Oh man, what the heck? What is this? What is this madness? What is this insanity? <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing? Okay, I got little ducks. 
What am I supposed to be doing? I don't, I don't get it. What am I? I can't move anything. I can move the bear around. What in the God's green earth? Blue things coming down. I'm clicking on them. I'm clicking on the blue bear, the chicken. What am I supposed to be doing? Okay, I have no clue what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause it and try to figure this out. So, I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. <laughs> uh, I've been clicking everything, pushing my spacebar. I don't really get what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm assuming it's like a mini game, but like I can make the bear look every direction, like left, or left, right, forward, down. I don't really understand. I'm supposed to be doing. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so it's safe to say I totally suck at that game. Alright, so. Second night. Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes sense legit man but I have an even better surprise for you and you're not gonna believe this we found one a real one uh, 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 gotta go man uh, well, well look it, it's in there somewhere I, I'm sure you'll see it okay I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found talk to you later man uh, hello? hello hello it's the dude <laughs> uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza uh, these tapes will provide you with much-needed information on how to handle, slash, climb into, slash, climb out of, mascot costumes. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash, injuries, slash, death, slash, irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound keys. Oh my god, oh my god. Easy and hands free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. The hand crank. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing what? room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile, you are the face of Brady Fazbear's people. I don't understand what he was talking about. Like, I didn't see any crank. I didn't see a crank at all. I didn't see a crank, man. I didn't see a freaking crank. No! Okay, 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 hang on. I can do this. Okay. Didn't see a crank. Don't know what he's talking about. Okay, um. Uh, everything cool over here? Alright. Everything seems okay. What was that crank he's talking about? Maybe it's not important. Okay, maybe it's all good. Just keep my eyes on these cameras. I should be a okay. Let me lock this bad boy up because it's real close to me. Oh crap, okay, hang on a second. Something's going on. What you doing? I heard. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, okay, oh. Okay, ventilation. Oh my god, I got a health bar? Oh my god. I don't understand.
understand. I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm terrible. How long has that been? It's been 10 minutes. Mm. Okay, well, it stopped working, so that's okay. <laughs> I need to do some research, and then I will come back to that game. <laughs> Take care, you guys.